guys welcome back to my channel my name is nana and today we're back with another episode of the not so berry challenge pepper and danielle are peacefully sleeping it is the middle of the night on a friday have anything on the schedule but i do know that pepper has to go to work and pepper is close to your promotion however we have been focusing more on the relationships than on getting her career up what i need to do for her to get this promotion is to focus on her skills and it is what she wants as well she wants to get a cleaning skill and a cooking skill she is going to wake up a little earlier today and i'm going to have her do her usual routine that usually consists out of a shower looks like danielle has decided to get up early as well this morning okay danielle i see you have big plans for today usually danielle is a late sleeper i mean it's a bit difficult because pepper's alarm goes off i think six or seven but after that, she usually just crawls back into bed. It looks like this morning she has some other plans though. This pizza still looks good. I feel like this morning Pepper and Danielle are just going to eat the leftover pizza. But we're not to waste it and because they don't really feel like cooking. Even though she wants a cooking skill point, I still kind of... I don't want to actually have her cook this morning so i'm gonna be a little scandalous and have her eat this pizza as well i got the cats a few new items so i bought a second pet bed i got this cute little cactus cactus scratch pose i thought it matched well with the interior and then i also got this fish bowl which looks a little bit more minty than the other one we had so i thought once again it would match perfect for the rest nothing really has changed danielle has gained a 300 simoleons in interest to have danielle take a shower and after that she wants to play some guitar so i'm going to have her practice her oh right she is unemployed i think she lost her job yeah she got fired and then i had to make her quit because she still had the job that's true a bunch of bad memories get much done in an hour but we're going to try maybe we'll We'll get lucky. She wants to win a dance contest and buy a modular synth. I mean, I could, I guess, buy it, but then it would have to be bought from Pepper's money. And I don't think Pepper is about to buy her girlfriend something new. She's been saving up for, um, I'm not sure for what, but I feel like Pepper's been saving up and she's not about to go and spend her money just yet. She is a knowledge sim and I think I gave her the second aspiration of family. It's been a while since I played with this family, so I feel like I am um, having to kind of rediscover her again. No, she doesn't have one. Oh, right. Okay, never mind. Pepper actually has to go to work in an hour. Oh, okay. I kind of forgot. Maybe she did already get a promotion. I'm not sure. I'm going to have Pepper just do this and be content with that. Danielle really wants to get a modular synth. I think we're going to have to come up with a way to earn ourselves a bit of money to get that. I, I just don't believe that Pepper is uh, going to just buy it for her girlfriend. I don't think her birthday's coming up or an anniversary yet, so we're gonna have to save up for that. If she wants something, she's gonna have to work for it. That's Pepper's... Uh, that's Pepper's mindset. You don't get things for free in Pepper's life. So I've been playing a bit off screen with Danielle and all of her ones that she is rolling have to do with Callista. And it's a bit freaky actually. Callista wasn't her friend. Danielle has been calling her up almost daily and she's been on the phone for freaking hours talking to Callista. And she really wanted to be her friend so incredibly much. One second, my cat is just... Okay, you might just stop it up. Pepper is coming late in out of work today, but at least she got that skill point, so we might be able to get a promotion. Which is... Is that worth it? I guess it just depends if she gets fired or not. I've been playing a while with Danielle, and Danielle has always been kind of a interesting sim for me because of her aspiration, right? She is a romance sim, and now she's married to Pepper. It's interesting to have aspira aspirations. I, I swear I should just delete my channel right this second. It's, it's always interesting to have a romance sim go out her way and get married. We all know Rowan Sims don't really like to get married anyway. They don't really like commitment. But for her to get married 
it's going to be interesting to see how that goes. This random sim comes by, and I think it's Callista too, might I, might I add. I just, I sat here thinking, hmm, I think I saw Callista earlier, so that means that Callista is kicking our trash can every single morning. Love, just such a lovely lady. Considering she is a romance sim, she's been, she's married now, this is going to be very interesting. Close eye on Danielle for a couple of days now, and what I've seen so far is that she really wants to be friends with Callista. And considering Callista is kicking our trash can every morning, I think she's trying to send a message. Maybe something like, don't come near me, you bitch. Mel just doesn't know how to take a no, right? It's not like Callista went to her face and said, uh, uh, but the girl, don't do that. I'm not into that. No, no. It's more like she's giving subtle hints like, walking away or pretending to like not be interested in what she's saying. I think Callista is trying the very passive route of rejection, which is weird because she's very aggressive as well. I guess she's passive by nature and I don't know where's maybe all the anger that she's keeping in. She's just releasing every freaking morning. Either way, I am going to call up. <laughs> I'm gonna call Callista. You guys, I know it sounds crazy, but she's been trying so freaking hard to be friends with Callista and all she's been wanting every single morning is to be friends with Callista. Yesterday I had her invite over Callista and Callista was acting so disinterested. She walked away, she was yawning, she was just not having it and Danielle kept going over to her trying different things and in the end it kind of looked like Callista kind of gave him and started dancing with Danielle and because of that they become friends. Whenever they talk it's always just so stupid. We can tell that Danielle's really into it and there's always like a little plus, a little smiley face going on and then it always ends in a minus and the relationship goes down every freaking time they've had contact. Understand what this relationship is and why she's so obsessed with Callista. So if you guys have any ideas on that, please let me know. Let's stay best friends with Callista and kiss Callista. Now, I don't see anything about a date or anything. I'm going to invite her over. I'm going to see if Callista perhaps wants to come over and I do think since the relationship went down, once again, even though it's just by two points, it still went down. If Callista maybe wants to come over despite everything, and maybe she comes over and she's like, I'm gonna just make sure this bitch never talks to me again. Or maybe she's like, oh damn, she's really trying hard. I'm really into it. I don't know. I actually think it's also time. Let's plan ourselves a new everyday outfit. I feel like we need a little spice in our life. It's always like this, but like, Girl, just take one step to the yeah, exactly. What do you, what are you playing hard for, Danielle? I forgot what kind of outfits we have. Oh, 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 look at this one. Time is it? Almost winter. <laughs> Fox, Fox. What time is it? Almost winter, y'all. Change her. <gasps> Let's do change her appearance. What if Danielle's getting ready because she really wants to like impress Callista? So I recently downloaded some more Sims 4 hairs. I think these are converted hairs. I could be completely wrong, but they do look like Sims 4 hairs. Since Danielle has always had these dreads, I think that's what you call them, these braided locks, I I think I'm going to say she either loves this hairstyle or maybe she grew up wearing this. Maybe this is her culture. I'm not exactly sure. I, like, I don't know Danielle that well. I think of giving her a hairstyle, it kind of looks like this. Um, unless I have another one. I mean, I had these, but I didn't really like them. But I think this one really looks, like, it really looks nice with her face, right? I think it actually looks better than what she has. I'll give her a bit more of a bold makeup look. Maybe some orange to go with the dress. I think that would be really nice. Try and make Danielle a bit more spicy than I would normally do with Pepper. I, I'm trying to find, oh, I probably do, right? Oh my god, imagine some, I, it's really hard. I wish there was a zoom button. I wish there was a zoom button in here. I'll, I'll pick this one. It's not really orange, but I think it'll do. And then I want to see... There is orange liner though. Oh boy. What? I kind of like it. Danielle! Danielle is unappreciated of my efforts. Excuse me. How perfect. How 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 perfectly how perfectly did i match her freaking lips with her eyeshadow excuse me this is a this, i'm so sorry i have to do this to you danielle how perfect did i match this excuse me these earrings everything is fire hi calista oh my god what 
Danielle! What, what, I mean, sucked, oh my god, she sucked the life out of Callista. Callista's, Callista's soul has left her body. Oh my, I, I, I did not expect, I did not expect Danielle to just go ahead and start mooching with freaking Callista. And Callista is replicating the gesture. I swear the, oh my, I'm, oh my goodness. You guys, I do not know what to do with myself. I made Danielle feel so good about herself. Oh my god, is she gonna do the strut again? Oh no, she's not. Oh, maybe she is. Let me try it again. Let me go over and floor it. Let's see if she's gonna do the strut. <gasps> oh my goodness. I made her feel so- oh my god, I'm- oh, oh my gosh, so much happening, I can't comprehend. Now she's getting turned down by Callista, I- 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 what? There's something really freaking weird going on. This is- this is such a weird relationship. I am going to hang out with her because I think that's the safest option while I try to figure out what the hell is going on. Pepper has work until 5, so until then we have a bit of time to experiment, I guess. Here's the thing, right? Danielle was definitely stalking Callista at one point, calling her for hours, trying to be friends with her. Keep on initiating things, situations. I to initiate something that was never going to happen. It was creating this really, uh, this really tense atmosphere where you would almost be afraid to say no. It was really weird. And I really thought that Callista was having none of it because she was literally like so disinterested. She was so uninterested. And now Kalissa's like, hell yeah, give me those lips, blah, blah. Sir, you're sitting on a cockroach, by the way. Yeah, 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 that, that's cla a very classy, Danielle. Class, you're, you're high class. Oh my god, I swear to god. Really not sure where this is going. So the only thing I can think of is trying to do a few things, a few more interactions with her and see what's going on if she's like a romantic interested in us it's kind of weird because she's giving mixed signals it's almost like Calista saying hell yeah i want you but then she's also like hell no i don't maybe she is into danielle for her looks and for how cool she looks and how sweet i just slapped you guys i'm so sorry maybe she's not into her personality and that's why it's kind of like weird. She wants to kiss her. So I'm going to try and initiate a kiss. See what she thinks. And if not, I think I have formed my answer. Oh. Uh, unfortunately, I'm going to have to say goodbye now. She wants to make out. But I don't think we're going to be able to do that. Pepper is coming home. Oh my freaking god. Just in time. I love how Danielle is like walking over to the bugs. Pretending like she was really not doing anything else. Like she's not scandalous at all. Pepper has no clue. Oh, maybe she does. She wants to see a ghost. Hmm. So I put the mod back that gives you this really cool, like this one. Let me show you guys. I put this mod back, but um, I kind of forgot that it takes away your Sims blur. So you just have to trust me on the fact that they're having a, um, a makeout session <laughs> right here. Uh, I'm just going to have to say that I think, I, I think... Danielle got so freaking frustrated that she wasn't going to get anything from Callista today. That as soon as Pepper comes home, she's like, okay, you know what? I'm just going to do you. Like, I'm just, I'm just going to do you now. Poor Pepper thinks that Danielle has missed her so incredibly much. She can't keep her hands over. Wondering, can the neighbors... Oh, imagine walking by and seeing that happen. <laughs> I would come by that house more often. <laughs> Pepper didn't get a promotion, that's what I'm trying to say. It's not like Pepper didn't get anything. Pepper got enough today, not probably more than she bargained for. But she um, she didn't get a promotion. I'm gonna have to call the exterminator for those bugs because I really don't want to deal with them. I think we're going to make ourselves some spaghetti. Maybe we'll get in another skill point for cooking. And we, I guess we need another logic skill, but I don't know if we have, I, oh right, I think we would, we usually use the newspaper, but I haven't been getting a newspaper because Callista has also been stealing my newspaper every morning. 
isn't Kalissa just a fun person, right? She steals my newspaper, kicks my trash can. So once Pepper has had herself some spaghetti, I think I'm going to switch up her looks as well. It's always nice to do that. It looks like she wants to teach Mrs. Smitten a command. So um, I think we're gonna do these two. So we're gonna learn the cat, come here. Since it is winter, let's pick out a outfit that is a bit more winter-ish. What about this? Pepper is appreciative. She likes my new look. So this is what I've done with little old Pepper. Yes, that's you, bitch. That's you. Oh, she's so cute. It's not as cute. Uh, not as cute. Not as minty as I wanted it. But, you know, we're, we, we can't have everything, can we? So I guess we're just gonna go through life a bit blue. I'm blue. Dab -a -dee -dab -a -dab. Before we end this episode, we're going to teach our cat come here because that's what Pepper won. How, oh, we have literally no skill, but Pepper loves her kids. Her kids? <laughs> Maybe her cats are her kids. I don't know. Pepper loves her cats, though. She especially loves Mrs. Smittens. I think they have such a great bond. They're best friends. Rocco is just a bit more on his own. It's a, I mean, it's a skunk. What do you expect? It's not like a cat or a dog. Chunky cat. I absolutely love it. I do foresee potential kittens. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed things up. But I want to know what direction we should go in with Pepper because Danielle is definitely at this point cheating on her. So I'm kind of wondering what to do because Pepper obviously doesn't have any idea that this is going on. I want to know what you guys think about Pepper and Danielle's relationship. I think they'll be be interesting to um, hear another subpoena about. I don't foresee this like working out in the end, but I do want to try and you know, I don't want to try. You know, trying. I think I'll also give Danielle her career back. I think she's going to, you know, take another chance at it and see if this time it's going to be more successful. It would also help if she actually showed up. Uh, she still just has all these ones. I mean, I locked the one of being best friends because I think that's kind of innocent. And if she wants to do that, that's fine. I'm going to leave these open so she can just, you know, like a roll, whatever she needs. I'm also kind of thinking, because I don't remember if I told you guys what I wanted for her second aspiration, but since she is kind of focused on luxury as well, I am thinking of making it the um, the fortune aspiration. But let me know what you guys think about that. And if you, why, if you, was, if you guys want me to spend my benefit points, what should we spend it on? I think work, because Pepper is so work-related work related she's so work motivated perhaps or maybe knowledge since that's kind of like what she wants as well i'm really sure let me know what you guys think i personally think i would put it in knowledge and since we have four knowledge and work really tired i need to see if i can cheat her energy let's see can we cheat her energy let's do half i am so close to finishing off this little want of hers so i refuse to do anything until we we reached it oh, oh look at the fluffy tail it's so oh, i wish yay whoop de doo she wants to see hail and she wants to be saved from death again pepper you are you are a different you are you are you are you are you're a different kind of pepper <laughs> anyway guys i'm going to end this episode here hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you guys in the next one Bye.